Hello friends, welcome to Selenium Point. My name is Harshal and I am going to teach you Selenium from scratch. So let's start with the third tutorial which is run Selenium Web Driver script on all browsers. Earlier I have, I have introduced you like introduction and environment setup. So let's start with this third tutorial Selenium script with all browsers. These are the basic browsers Firefox, Chrome, IE, Microsoft Edge and Safari on which we have to run our Selenium scripts. Microsoft Edge browser is the newly launched browser which comes with the Microsoft Windows 10 OS and which is pretty much fast, faster than IE. Okay, prior to run our script we have to download drivers which is required to run our script on these browsers. So go to the Selen go to this link which is the download section of Selenium HQ website. Selenium HQ is the official website of Selenium. In download section below you can see the third party browser drivers which is not developed by selenium hq but it's okay microsoft gecko driver for microsoft for mozilla uh, not microsoft for mozilla we need gecko driver uh, as this is selenium 3.0 we need this need the, need to download this driver with earlier version of selenium 2.0 we didn't require any driver for firefox for chrome for opera ghost driver microsoft edge so start with the Firefox. In the download section, you can see the different packages for Linux and Mac and Windows. According to your OS, download any packages. I have already downloaded. Same thing with the Google Chrome. Download Chrome driver 2.25. Microsoft Edge driver. So the thing here is we have to check the build version of your own machine. My machine is a Windows 10. So here the, uh, go to the start setting system and about page. So let's see setting. The setting. Okay. OS build. So uh, this is the build actually in a setting. You can go, you have to go to the system in system about page. You can see the build OS build number 1439393. You have to verify this number 14393. And if, if if this is match, you have to download this. Else you have to check the below ones release 10586 or anything. So download this. Save the file I already downloaded. Okay, go back. Uh, for uh, all the drivers are mentioned here, like Mozilla Chrome. Microsoft agent for I you have to go here the internet explorer driver server 32 bit or 64 bit according to your version download the browser right I already downloaded the browser drivers and kept here okay so the first step is done like download the, we have downloaded all the drivers which is required to run our script on multiple browsers now go to the Eclipse I already created project and imported the jars and I have explained this in your, uh, to you in earlier tutorials. So create one class. Selenium all browsers. Okay. Let's start with the Firefox. We have to set the property for Firefox system dot set property key and value and key is web driver dot gecko dot driver. So this is the key and gecko is the driver gecko driver we have downloaded and the value is path of that driver. So this is the path. You have to give the exact name of exe with extension gecko driver dot exe dot exe now create object new firefox driver that's it 
input the package web driver Yes, the browser is open and the URL is open in the browser. So close it. Let's start with the Chrome now. Chrome. So the code is the same. I, I actually am com commenting out this code. You just have to change the simple key instead of the gecko for chrome the key is webdriver.chrome.driver and the path is different instead of gecko driver we have chrome driver.ex instead of firefox driver create a chrome chrome driver open the url run the door it will open chrome yes and it has opened the website Close it. let's start with third one third would be i same thing system dot set property space it out the I have committed out this code system.set property instead of chrome put i instead of chrome driver.exe give i driver dot i driver sub internet explorer in Okay, it has opened the IE and opened the URL. Now the last one is Microsoft Edge. Edge browser. Same thing guys. I commented out this code. Instead of IE, give Edge. Instead of IE driver, give Microsoft web driver pc instead of uh driver this is the faster than i run this it has opened selenium.com that's it guys so we have seen the opening selenium script on multiple browsers Thanks for watching the video. Hello friends, welcome to Selenium Point. My name is Harshal and I am going to teach you Selenium from scratch. So today we are going to learn setting up the Firebug, Firefath and Expert Checker. So before start, let me explain why those add-ons are necessary. So Firebug, Firepath and Expert Checker are the add-ons to the Firefox. So why it is necessary? Like in selenium selenium scripts are nothing but identifying the elements like text text box links buttons etc etc so once you identify those elements we have to perform the actions and these are add these add-ons firework firepath and expert checker will help you to like inspect the elements easily so let's see practically this is a theory uh, tutorial now i will explain you it practically the first thing is like fire firebug installation 
so firebug is a add-on to the firefox so open firefox browser go to the tools click on add-ons click on extensions search firebug here it is firebug just click on install yes it is it, it it is installed and you can see the bug icon here it means firebug is installed firebug 2.0.18 now let's install firebug just type here firebug okay so this is firebug uh, remember guys firepath is an add-on to the firebug so first you have to install firebug then you can install the firepath uh, I will I will explain you here see this is a website selenium point and this is a firebug firebug is installed once you click on it firebug is enabled you can see here the below section here is a firebug so if you want to inspect the element just click this tray and click here on any web page element so you can see the DOM is generated or uh, you can see the HTML code here like this is the DO so using this tool firebug you can inspect the elements on the web page okay that's it now uh, here you cannot see any firepath options so go to the add-ons once again click on the firepath firepath is here just install the firepath Okay, uh, the Firefox is installed once you restart the Firefox. So restart, restart now. Firefox is restarted. Now again go here, just to check whether Firebug is Firepath is installed or not. Click on the Firebug. Inspect the element. You can see here Firepath. So Firepath will give you an X path. So why it is necessary? Because on, on web page for every elements we cannot find ID name or let's say any unique property so for those elements we have to identify the XPath and CSS so using fire fire path you can find the XPath and CSS for example if I want to XPath find the XPath of this text click here you can see here you can see the relative XPath of, of that text even you can change here the absolute expert and related expert. I will explain what is the expert in detail in next tutorials. So Firepath is installed. Now install Xpath Checker. So Xpath Checker is another add-on or another tool. It's not the add-on actually. It's tool independent tool uh, which is used to identify the Xpath. checker just click on the install that's it again you have to restart the firefox okay uh, this is firebug this is firepath and if you want to see the xpath checker just right click on it click on the view expert so this option enables only if you have the expert checker view expert it will give you the expert of the, that particular text and here in a tray you can see the that element is fine okay that's it that's it friends uh, for the today thank you for watching the video keep watching the same tutorials again thank you